And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Mage Seekers. Had a lot of people ask about uh, playing some Mage Seekers and yeah, it's been a little bit since we had. Um, I've played this deck before and called it Mage Seeker Thresh. I've played it a good amount of times. Um, but I'm kind of rebranding it, so we're going to call it Spooky Mage Seekers. Um, we're mostly a Demacia deck, just kind of splashing some Shadow Isles cards in here. And, it, and I've, I've kind of touched up the numbers a little bit and took out one Thresh for a Callista to have in here because of the, the combination between Callista and Rekindler is really good. But even like Callista attacking and bringing back like a Radiant Guardian or whatever five drop you make from Re uh, Remembrance could be pretty pretty good. So we're going to play one Callista in here. Um, yeah, the, I, the ideal start with this deck is going like turn three Remembrance. This is a card that we want to see in our opener all the time because then once we play Remembrance, then our Mage Seeker cards are upgraded. And then like uh, turn four, we could either have like two Mage Seeker Persuaders or a Mage Seeker Insider. And uh, yeah, these cards just get upgraded. Thought about playing Brood Awakening in here, but didn't really want to fit it in over anything else. I think I'd rather have back to back than Brood Awakening, but you know, as we play these games out, if back to back is not performing that well, you know, could have Brood Awakening. Brood Awakening would be another uh, six mana card that we could play on turn three, because now it is a six mana card. Um, so it could be another six mana card to play on turn three to turn on the Mage Seekers. Yeah, a lot of the power, besides that, um, you know, like we have two like kind of different parts of our deck that are pretty powerful. We have the, remember, I guess, really three. We have the Remembrance with the Mage Seekers. We have just our champions are really good. Like Lux is amazing. Lux, Thresh, Callista, very powerful champions. Um, and we have that those uh, champions with Rekindler, which are all really good. Like getting back Lux from Rekindler, for example is awesome because you're only spending one more mana than what Lux normally is and you're getting an additional 4-4 four, four as well. Um, and then of course we have like um, our top end, you know, we have Ruination which can be really good in certain matchups. I have just one Unyielding Spirit. I had two the last time we played this and one Vengeance, but I'm switching those numbers up. Um, but we got one Unyielding Spirit in here as well. All right, so we're calling Spooky Mage Seekers. Let's go play five games over in Ranked and have some fun. Our deck's all about. All right, here we go. All right, so we got turn three remembrance, which is awesome. Oh. They who endure atrocity is going to be tough. I may need to just keep this vengeance to stop they who endure atrocity. Um, we would almost always, always mulligan vengeance, but maybe I have to keep it. Yeah, I probably should just keep it. And then we'll keep the thrash. Lots of things should be dying on both sides, especially on their side. Ooh, that's a good card. So I have turn three remembrance, turn four nothing, um, or bright seal protector if I want. Turn five thrash, turn six unyielding spirit the thrash. I just have to have at least two spell mana, so I can only spend two mana on bright seal protector for turn four. Great Horn Companion! Great Horn Companion! Great Horn Companion! Hmm. So I don't think I play Investigator, because if I play Investigator, then I can't go Thresh into Unyielding Spirit. And I really do want to go Thresh into Unyielding Spirit. Yeah. 
Yeah, no stream Saturday. So young. No stream Saturday. So I'm doing I'm doing uh, five decks today instead of four for that, and I'll do. I'm planning on doing five tomorrow. Um, but we'll see about that, and then maybe five on Sunday whenever I come back and kind of, instead of having that four on Saturday, just kind of uh, getting three extras Thursday through Sunday. And, um, yeah, filling them out like that. Yeah, I could have attacked with the Protector. The thing is, like, with their deck, with They Who Endure, uh, maybe I should have attacked with the Protector. I was thinking that, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really have a good reason why not to attack with the protector. And now I wish I did. Oh gosh, yeah, that this can't block these things either. No closer. Why are they not attacking with the Elise? Like, that'd be fearsome also. Boo. We must all make sacrifices. That could be game. That was... A great turn five for them. Mistwraith and Frenzied Skitter and uh, Vile Feast. That was great. Um, because yeah, I mean, if I just go Thresh Challenge on Yielding Spirit now, I'm I'm just dead. I can. Go Thresh Challenge, have Thresh die, and then go Unyielding Spirit. Or sorry, then go uh, Remembrance and Mage Seeker Investigator. And then we're going to have having seven mana next turn. I'm really hoping to hit Radiant Guardian, of course. Oh, man. This can be... Yay, Radiant Guardian! Let's go! Magic has no place here. Then I can, like, Vengeance. Kill the Neverglade Collector. Mm. Do they have Miss Call? Or not Miss Call, sorry. I just drew Miss Call. They have the Sacrifice card. Uh, Glimpse Beyond. So that would be bad. Hold back the darkness! I was expecting Glimpse Beyond and then I was going to Vengeance in response to the Glimpse Beyond and not, I didn't want to do Vengeance first and then the Glimpse Beyond afterwards and get that trigger. You will be 
scoured from this land. Good job, back to back. I know what lurks. Gain more life. Let me change into something more comfortable. Okay, another rating guardian. Yeah, we've been we've been at a very low life total. We've had my opponent has had the opportunity to kill me. The turn before atrocity would have been lethal, also, but I saved saved mana. Up. There are twenty seven bird or bird related cards in Demacia plus Freljord. We should have that for a me Monday. A bird deck. All right, I'll take I'll take a look at those. Stay back. So we get to miss call. So it's either, you know, radiant guardian miss call back radiant guardian, or rekindler miss call back rekindler. I think I just like gaining this five life again, even though we could get an additional thresh. Y'all want to do Miss Call the Rekindler? Worried about this life total. Yeah, I do need to detain the Ledros. Yeah, I need I need to set up Unyielding Spirit and detain for sure. Which is why I didn't want to attack with these other things. I didn't want them to be able to block with Ledros, put it back in their hand, replay it. I just don't have, I don't have the mana to play both of these right now. Um...
All right, so we got the Unyielding Spirit on the Radiant Guardian, and now we'll have uh, two detains. So like, we'll be able to detain this, and then if they have a Sacrifice card, we'll have the other detain as well. Okay. Stay back. Block here. Block. Invest. Here, block here. Oh no, I don't get to vile feast. I'm going to detain this, and then I'm going to stay at eleven. That's okay. I don't. I don't really want to block with the thresh. Shall we wait till after the Lux comes in to Vile Feast? I mean, they, they still have a good chance of winning this with They Who Enter and Atrocity. million things die. So that's 36 minus 10 is 26 minus another 10 is 16. So I could block with my two Radiant Guardians and take 16. Oh, but then they're also tough. Does that, does that change anything? Classic Remembrance. They Ruination. All of my stuff away, and I cast Remembrance. At 
We could have actually blocked and stayed alive, but still went to a ruination. Yeah, no atrocity. They did not. There was a lot of turns that if they would have had atrocity, I would have died. But no atrocity. We didn't die. And so GGs. It was a long game. Dig pretty far. But did not get that card. Yeah, I don't know if they were playing two or if they were playing three. Yeah, we got got through Ledros with the detains. Let's say I play Bright Seal Protector. No, I take two. Feel the sizzle. Definitely wish I was attacking turn four. Where I could go like Persuader, Protector, turn four. And attack. But I guess we're attacking turn three. No. Most Endure decks play two now. They should probably play three. Atrocity's pretty busted. All natural skill, all natural goals. You're covered. Fight me. Aha! Squire! My best tunic. Mages can't hide from me. All challengers back and forth. Hmm. Magic must be stopped before it spreads. Go Mage Seeker Persuader. Look at my two drop versus their two drop. Ah, oh, boo. My call. All right, well. Eight up my two two mana card. Ate their five mana card and their two mana trick. Ate both of those. Hey, Dr. Grindel, what's up? Boats. There's nothing like it. Uh, I'm not sure what your question was. Same law. Their pride will cost them. History will judge you. Nothing back. Head to the base. Eat up, friend. Hmm. That was a great turn for them. Yeah, that was a great turn for them. Yeah, I kind of forgot that, that yeah. Yeah, that, that was a great turn for them. We'll give it to them. Box. I was planning on unyield, like I, I didn't spend this mana, so I was gonna unyielding spirit this turn, the Swiftwing Lancer, and then you know, I'd be able to like detain stuff and everything like that. But now we drew Lux and that changes things. Everywhere I go, the light follows. I'm gonna play Lux. And then likely unyielding spirit the Lux. For justice and all things bright. Hmm. 
Candice. I was asking about they who endure with overwhelm against Radiant Guardian with lifesteal. What's the heal and damage order? Yeah, so yep. Sim simultaneous. You just... It's not like one happens, then the other. They happen at the same time. I guess I could have Lux die and then start rekindling back Lux and get more Luxes. Follow my lead. Stop having that card. Hmm. This is going to be difficult to survive. Alright, so Lux dies. Eyes we'll be bringing Lux back. Do need to un unyielding spirit this thing. But I. Mm. Selfish me wants to play Rekindlers first and have Lux in play before we unyielding spirit to get the final sparks. Let's just do this. We Demacians are no easy. Yeah, we got we got some late game. It is me. Please. We got some late game over here. late game. Our ancestors are watching. Still so much to learn. These swift wing lancers. Their cards never run out. They never give up. Chevalier created this thing, which creates other things. This creates things that, man, yeah, they never, never run out of cards over here. Do I detain the Lancer? Eh. Let's brighten up their day. Come to the night. You don't scare me. Oh right, they're at four. I think Unyielding Spirit, Lancer, and Lux can beat Vanguard Squire. Smell that? A fight's a cooking. A fight's a cooking. Set 
Alright, let's go ahead and detain. What's up, Metal World Gaming? Interesting music choice. We're going with our Demacia board. Like our Our board's pretty Demacia. Or our deck's pretty Demacia. This is a give up attack right here. If I've ever seen one. You gotta spend one mana and level up both Luxes. Getting that, even though they had infinite cards, they're all just a, a bunch of mopey creatures. Can't beat a 5-1 challenger on Yielding Spirit. And a Spooky Mage Seekers is 2 and 0. Oh. I, slot, I, see, I'm pretty high on Slotbot, but the it wasn't great in the Slotbot Swain deck because... You are, there's still just randomness with the card, and and uh, we were not very lucky with the Slotbot card. And basically what I mean by that is that frequently we would play it, and then it would turn into like a 4-2 the next turn, and they would Mystic Shot it. Like all the time, it just like the health would just go away, and they would just use a removal spell on it. That like you, you just wanted to have to keep a lot of health for a long time. All right, let's look for Remembrance. No Remembrance. Ooh. Speaking of Slotbot Swain, cool, you had got the thumbnail up. So it's uploaded on YouTube with no thumbnail right now, so let me get a thumbnail for it. No, where's where's my remembrance? I mean, I really want to play this Persuader first, and then you know, go Persuader, then back-to-back. -back. Um, but that lets them play something and toss two more things, and I probably shouldn't let them do that. So we're just going to go... Uh... I'm just going to go back-to-back. Turn that into being Challenger, we get the Detain. Yeah, I think, yeah, Riot, Riot does a great job with the uh, patch notes, like with their, their reasons and stuff on the patch notes, I think they do a great job there. And uh, yeah, they give a lot of good insight. Magic. 
It's gonna be an interesting matchup. Our deck's slow and powerful late game. My opponent's deck is slow, powerful late game. This is pretty interesting to see how this is gonna turn out. I would really like to draw Unyielding Spirit and put it on Lux so I can Ruination later on and not have Lux die. That would be my ideal scenario. Yeah, yeah, we could play Brood Awakening as a cost six now, and I, I definitely consider playing Brood Awakening, but ultimately went against it. Um, so basically, I didn't want them to block Lux out of anything else until I attacked with Lux. Or like I had the Lux here, so like they gained the life. Um, yeah, you know, like we, they don't take damage and then gain life afterwards. Yeah, I, I definitely was considering Brood Awakening, but there was just basically nothing that I really wanted to take out for it, because at the end of the day, it's still just three, two ones. Oh no, Obliterate. Man, I mean, obviously we're going to kill that, but I was like hoping they would just like kill it and then I'd miscall it back. Yeah, we'll just use Vengeance. Could go Detain. No, I, the thing I like about Vengeance is it also levels up Lux. It's good to have... Lux leveled up. I've been hiding my light too long. Even though we don't get to do anything with this final spark. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure Devour to the Depths is a play trigger. My cause is righteous. Not a summon trigger. This song and dance again. Do you have to have an ally die to cast Miss Call? Like, what if I could just cast Miss Call there? 
You probably do. This place reeks of foul magic. Rude. Awesome. Three and O, we are able to defeat the Devourer of the Depths. Superior tactic is to never hey, Fima. How are you liking the new patch, Fima? Alright, 3 0. Mage Seekers. Getting all spooky. That's pretty sweet. It's it's kind of clunky, sure, but it's got a really powerful late game. Okay, Sejuani Vladimir. Definitely want Remembrance. Ruination sounds great against Sejuani Vladimir. The thing about mulliganing it makes it more likely that I draw Remembrance. Keeping it means less likely that I have Remembrance. Sounds Shen Li Sin together is probably very slow as far as winning games, and I, I think that just like other slow decks will be able to go over the top of it. Poor Radiant Guardian. This land is ours. Wow. Great hand. You will be scoured from this land. Yeah, great hand about it. Get a good look at you. Sure. Is that all? Maybe even perfect hand, could say. Leave nothing standing. I will end this here. My hand's good though. Like my hand, like for what my decks do, I like my hand's really good. We shall pierce their treasonous ass. I'd never keep my guests mm. racing. My shield is yours. Justice. I don't think I attack with either of those things. Into Vlad's. Strength through suffering. from Presto stream. Oh, welcome here. We're uh, playing new stuff. Let's see if we go block block. Obviously, we should do it the other way around. 
Going to nine and having Callista at two. Yeah, playing some spooky mage seekers right now, and they're doing really well. We're 3 0 over in Master's Rank. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep keep on playing some sweet decks today. Yeah, hope you all sit, you know, sit back, relax, and uh, have a good time. So I I want my Mage Seeker Persuader to die to be able to play Radiant Guardian and to level up Callista. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I see you have no alibi. Guess I'd just attack here. Fury of the North. Cool. All right, see you, Callista. You came close to leveling up. That was cool. I fight for the fallen. But we got Radiant Guardian now. That should definitely help out. Ooh, what's up, Lux? Sejuani is about the only card I am currently scared of. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Lux or Radiant Guardian? Radiant Guardian means they can't basically ever kill me. Better, brighter than before. I could just attack out and like whatever they block our Radiant Guardian. I guess I could, could do that. I, I like getting actual use out of my out of the final sparks. We have not gotten use out of final sparks so far. The winter's claw strikes. Strike for justice. My cause is you can't outrun justice. Unyielding Lux and 3D go through Radiant. Yeah, that's what we did. Oh, what's up, back to back? Yeah, that should be game in. Uh, anytime. So now we can have Detain. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just over. This land is ours. This place reeks of foul magic. Rude. My card's pretty good. Great Horn Companion, and we're four and zero oh with the Mage Seekers. We're gonna get that five win dream. Yeah, actually, we played two Hecarim decks yesterday, um, and we went. Uh, 9-1 total with the Hecarim decks. Hecarim just felt awesome. Um, you know, like, they're both up on the YouTube channel from yesterday. Alright, we're at 172. Let's go, Spooky Mage Seekers. Yeah, Ionia can be a tough matchup, but yeah, there's not, there's not a whole lot of Ionia right now with Karma and with Deep Meditation, both um, starting to cost more. There's not as much Ionia in the format. And also, Burn, Burn's not a great matchup either because they're so fast. Like, if we don't have a perfect hand against Burn, we're probably losing. But also, not much Burn in the format. Heimerdinger seems like this card would be 
can be really difficult if they have like turn five Heimerdinger with a couple of, um, you know, and they make a couple of like free three one turrets. That could be a huge problem. Remembrance. All right, so I think that's the new rule. If if the card's not remembrance, you mulligan it. <laughs> okay, that's not a hard and fast rule, but. Yeah, I haven't faced any burn aggro yesterday or today. So yeah, I could have kept Withering Whale. I thought about it for dying to like those three ones, but hopefully we just redraw it. Yes. Greyhorn Companion, best best hit. No. My companion. Change the pet to the Pride Boro, okay. So we'll do that after this game. So for the next video, we'll use Pride Poro. With the uh, Sky using the channel points to change the pet. I wish that I wish it was easier to see. Like I wish there was like a notification that popped up on screen whenever points were spent or something. But I guess, I guess there's a lot of things that you wouldn't, just really just the, the change ones. All right, but we'll do this guy and, and help remind me after the game. Do you think Lux is like bragging about how everywhere she goes the light follows or do you think that she's like complaining about it like she's like beaten down by this light that's like always following her and and she's like uh everywhere I go the light follows or is she just like hey, everywhere I go the light follows that's not you though I'm not sure I could see it either way maybe she's just like observing it Maybe she's like a, she's in like a, you know, a, a, like a laboratory, like a science lab, and she's just like, has an epiphany, like, wait, everywhere I go, the light follows. She's like looking out the window. One candle for every soul. The reason why I put the challenger first is because they were at 20 life, and if they would use um, the card that had barrier and life steal to keep their 2-2 alive, which I, it's the chances that they use that card was super, super small. But in case they did use that card, uh, I want them to be at 20 life and then gain life and still stay at 20. Yeah, not not much chance that would happen. Illuminate the enemy. Discarded a dawn and dusk. How do they how do they have a dawn and dusk in hand? A true shot barrage. Did they just play a bunch of? Um, They play a bunch of Flash of Brilliances that I wasn't paying attention about.
Probably did. Skill and grace tear your breath away. Ooh. Nice juicy final spark target. Thank you. GG's, that's the 5-0. Let's go. Spooky Mage Seekers getting the 5-0. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, they did not have a great hand. That is definitely true. No Heimerdinger, no um, uh, Vi. Yeah, this deck's, this deck's pretty sweet. I know, like, we've struggled against Burn with this deck before. Um, you know, like, sometimes, you know, like, you can beat Burn, but, yeah. Burn burn was tough, but with people playing less Burn right now and everybody playing, like, different kind of, like, big mid-range decks, this is a pretty good option because this deck goes bigger than, you know, most everything. With Unyielding Spirit, Ru Ruination, both of these cards were amazing. Vengeance was great. Um, obviously, Remembrance was just incredible, and we did a really good job of having Remembrance in our opening hand. I think four of the five games after Mulliganing, we had Remembrance. Um, and yeah, we didn't we didn't even really have to do too much Rekindler stuff. Did some Rekindler stuff, but not too much. Um, yeah, it was a pretty pretty cool little deck here. Um, <laughs> yeah, finally a five wins. Hey, the the last. Uh, we got a 5 win yesterday with uh, Demacia. Like, the last deck we played last night was also Demacia Shadow Isles. Um, you know, it was also had Thresh and Unyielding Spirit. It was just a Hecarim deck. And we, w we went 5-0 with that yesterday, too. So, yeah, we've had a couple of 5-0s here recently, but it looks like Demacia Shadow Isles Go Big decks uh, doing pretty good. 10-0 and in the last two days with them. All right, that's Spooky Mage Seekers. Those y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. And of course, let me know what you think of the deck, uh, you know, anything like that. But yeah, y'all wanted to see some Mage Seekers, and here we go. Got a 5 0. Yeah, so Unyielding Shadow Isle, OP. That's, I guess so. All right, thanks for watching. Some Spooky Mage Seekers, and I'll see you for the next video.